the Project House, everybody. I'm Jim B. Brock, and in today's episode, we're going to talk about upgrading your cabinetry with new hardware. Stay tuned. Okay, with online shopping today, you can upgrade the look of a kitchen really economically. We bought a 35 pack. A box of poles. They are nice black poles and we're going to put them on. I'm going to show you how I put them on. Um, give you a couple of tips of how to do that. And again, with online shopping today, you can do this really economically. Our box was just under $30 for 35 poles. So that's well under a dollar a pole. Okay, we're going to need a couple of things to do our project today. You need a drill of some kind, either battery operated or electric. You're going to need about an eighth inch drill bit, wood boring drill bit. Uh, obviously you need your hardware. I'm going to use a little kit here. I love these and you can tell by the marks on here. I've used it a lot. And then you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver and a sharp pencil. So what you need to do is a little bit of math, but the templates make this very easy. So let's come down here <clears throat> and we're going to start off with the, the doors themselves. What I like about these templates is once you determine which holes you're going to use, then this starts to go very fast. I like to take my time. I like to clear my mind and not be thinking about anything else because if you make a mistake here, it's a costly mistake and it's very visible. So take your pull and determine where you want or at least where the holes are. And you can see I've made marks there, but those aren't the holes I'm gonna use in this particular case. In this particular case, I'm gonna move two holes over. So I just have to make a mental note as I mark these that I'm two holes over from my silver spot on both sides of my template. What I like about these is it just makes it so much easier, so much faster, and there's way less thinking and math that has to be taken uh, into account here. So now that I know where I'm gonna put them on here, you simply drop it on, there's this mark, I'm coming two holes over, I'm just gonna mark this, there's my deal, two holes over, and they're kind of hard to see against this grain on this wood cabinet here. But, uh, so there it is. I don't know if you can see them or not. <clears throat> so you can take the drill and you're going to hold it very steady. You're gonna, and I like to find the point on the bit, put it right on the hole, and just start. Now, open your door because in some cases you'll be drilling a hole through your post there. You don't want that. So. I hold it out. Now on the back side of the door, you're gonna have some debris. Just clean it off with your fingernail. These are the bolts that were included. You're simply gonna poke those through. <clears throat> Use a drill bit that's big enough that you don't have to drive those through. Take your hardware, put it on there, hold it with one hand and simply screw it in. Now, that made that super easy to do. Let's talk about the placement, the proper placement for your handle on the door. Now, this is totally subjective because it's how you want it to look visually. What I like to do is I like to get the handle as close to center in the style as I can. This part of the door is called the style. This part of the door is called the rail. So what I want to do is center it as best I can on the style. So you're going to have to do a little math to determine that. Or if you're using your template, this particular style is for the upright doors. This style, which comes in the kit, is for your drawers. And I'll demonstrate that one for you here in just a moment. So it's literally just as simple as hanging it on the door like this, and you put the, the flat pieces against it, hold it against it tightly, and then when you use your pencil to mark the holes, they'll be in the same spot every time. So this one's ready for me to put on, and you're gonna be able to tell, sometimes once you get them on there, they're not gonna look perfectly level straight across, even though they are because you use the template. Now this batch is gonna be pretty good, but this door is slightly lower, than this door. So let me put this on there and then I'll show you how to adjust those doors. Okay, to adjust these doors to where they match, you'll see that this door is slightly lower than this door. So we need to raise and lower them to where they're level. To do that, you simply open the door and you identify, usually it's as easy 
as these two screws right here. You'll see this is slotted so that they can go up and down. So all you want to do is just loosen them a little bit, not much. Close the door. Raise it up to where you want it and then reach in here and tighten it back down. And the two drawers are now level across there and the drawer pulls look correct. Now your drawers are a little more tricky because you do have to do a little bit of math. Even with the template, you have to do a little bit of math. What you'll find on the template is a set of holes going right down the center. This is a guide to show you where your holes are placed based on the center of your drawer. Not, none of your drawers are gonna be the same width across and they're also not gonna be the same depth this way. So you've got to determine your center point if that's where you want them. And in my case, I want my drawer pull to be right in the center of the drawer, like so. So what I need to do is determine the length of my drawer. So I'm gonna pull it across like that, okay? And I got my measurement, in this case is 27 and a half. So there's my center part, I put a little tick mark on there. Keep in mind, use a pencil so that you can erase that mark, but you need that mark. Then you're going to take your template and you're going to line your mark up with your hole. And my center two holes are here and here, so I'm going to make my mark like that. I'm just gonna put my pencil in there, wiggle it around, put my pencil in there, wiggle it around. And when I'm done, there's my two marks right there. Now, we need to talk about something. The drawer, or I'm sorry, the doors have a bolt that is about an inch and a quarter long, but your drawers are gonna need a longer bolt. Now, these usually will come in the kit. If not, you're gonna to have to go to your favorite big box retailer or hardware store and get them. They're a number 10 bolt, okay? So we're gonna use the longer ones because if you look at the anatomy on the inside of the door, it's thicker. You've got the drawer face, and then you have the, the backing here that you gotta go through. So you need the longer of these. So I'm going to, make sure you don't have anything inside your drawer that you don't wanna punch a hole in like aerosol can or you know a food product or something like that. And then the principle is the same. We're gonna put our tip of our drill bit right on the dot. Then we're gonna poke our bolts through from the back side. We're gonna put our handle on and tighten it down. Okay, I'm going to try and put a link in the description of where you can buy these. You can buy these at any one of your big box retailers. If you're really glutton for punishment, then uh, you can do this with math and I'm gonna show you how to do it. But you're gonna do one drawer and then you're gonna go buy this, I promise. All right, so what you're gonna to wanna to do is find the middle. So my drawer here is right at 12 and three quarters of an inch, just under. So that's gonna translate over here to um, just about a six and uh, a quarter uh, strong, about six, six and a quarter strong is gonna be the center point of this. So I made me a dot right in the dead center this way. And then you gotta do the same thing this way. So we're about five and a quarter. So there, there you have it. There, it's just a little over two and a half, about two and five eighths is where we put that dot. So that's, that's pretty much our center point here. Then you have to determine the spacing center to center on your handle. And what I mean by that, the center here and the center here, that's your measurement. And in this case, it's three inches center to center. Now. The appropriate way to do this is do what they call, you know, burn an inch or burn two inches. So I'm going to put the two inch mark right in the center of that. The five inch mark shows on the other center. So that's a three inch drawer pull. I hope that made sense to you. You can try to do it with the end of the tape measure, but keep in mind this, this moves and that's moving a good eighth of an inch or so. So that's not going to be an accurate measurement for this. So that's why they say, you know, burn an inch or burn two inches. In this case, I'm burning two inches. Hope that makes sense. So three inches, you want an inch and a half on each side. So 
you're going to take your tape and you're going to find your center mark. In this case, is right there. And again, it's a good idea to not use the end of the tape. So I'm going to start with the three. And I'm going an inch and a half. So I'm going to put a dot right there at the inch and a half. And I'm going to go an inch and a half this way, which will be four and a half. I'll put me a dot there. So you can see I've got, there's a dot, there's a dot. It's the same dots that I could have done very quickly just by using the templates, just, pen, boom, just like that. But if you're going to put, if you're going to do it this way, this is where you're going to make a mistake. And a sixteenth of an inch shows up big time. So I, this is why, I, just go get a template. But if you're going to do it this way, you know, you're going to have to get your mark. And you're going to have to put pressure on this so that you get your mark at the same point. You can see what happens here very easily. I can get that off as much as an eighth of an inch. And if you drill that hole, that handle is going to be going downhill. And you will see it. I'm really amplifying it here. But if you've got any OCD whatsoever, it'll drive you nuts. So very carefully take your drill, same as before. And then we'll put that drawer pull on there. You can see how much more labor intensive it is if you try to calculate it every time. Just get a template. There you go. I think this looks really nice. That made this kitchen look clean and updated. For more home improvement projects, visit maintenanceminute.net. Let's go find another project. Are you interested in woodworking or home repair? If so, please look at MaintenanceMinute.net. Hi, I'm Jim V. Brock, and I'm the host of Maintenance Minute. From my website, you can watch videos on how to build a variety of arts and crafts projects, full-on woodworking builds, and home repair and remodeling tips, too. We recently added an archive section where you can see over 40 years of projects that I have built. Please take a moment and visit MaintenanceMinute.net.